What is up, peeps? This is for the Win TCG, and I'd like to welcome you back to another YouTube video. And yes, we're doing two videos on one day. This is so that I make up for not being able to upload on Thursday and Friday for you guys. I wanted to make sure that I guarantee at least five videos a week if I am unable to upload on either of those days. So I am here with a double upload. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the video. Hitmon Run. Yes, we're actually going to be playing a hit and run deck. Hitmon Top. We're going to be primarily using its Rapid Spin Attack. This came out in the Lost Thunder expansion, so the most recent one to date. Uh, obviously, pre team up. And uh, we're going to partner it with Puku Muku, which has the attack, uh, the ability which is in and out. If this Pokemon is the active Pokemon and is knocked out from damage from an opponent's attack, put six damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. That's really fun. Um, now, it's a very risky deck, and would I say this deck is anything uh meta no <laughs> no this deck is just fun and games um i know we do have some better hit and run pokemon coming up in later expansions i don't know if it is team up or it's going to be an unbroken bonds which is the one after team up if i'm correct i don't know if there's a mini set in between not too sure but uh all i know is this gets to utilize diancy prism star it's a single energy attack and not only are you hitting and running you are also forcing your opponent to switch as well it just sounds like fun um, so I thought we could try it out in here and see what we can do. Uh, we are obviously pairing up with the likes of Shrine of Punishment and stuff like that. And uh, we are playing a, a lot of skateboards. I think we're playing three. Um, because I think everything in the deck bar Diancy. And we do also play a Boswell, um, Baby Boswell for the sake of hitting the 120 on the full price term. Um, other than that, I think everything has a pretty good retreat. So, And it's, this deck is not hard to set up at all. You just... Get the hit on top, attach the energy, and attack. It's like that, that simple. Um, we're going to hold our hand because we have nothing um, to work with for this turn. We can't attack just yet. Uh, so we're going to be using Rapid Spin for 50 damage, which is nice. And we have Shrine of Punishment. It looks like we're up against Toxapex. Um, I don't know if this is Toxapex GX or the other Toxapex that sits on your bench and... Um, Basically, you become poisoned every time you switch, which I don't know if that'd be good for us. But it looks like it is Toxapex GX, maybe with a Malamar. Not too sure. Uh, which is not particularly a meta deck. Toxapex GX is not good. And I know so many people tried so hard to make it good. Because it, in theory, it is, you know. Being able to do 100 damage per poison in each turn is pretty good. Forces your opponent to retreat, puts them in sticky situations. But it gives them the option to retreat and avoid the KO. But it is good. It's a good card nonetheless. Um, but yeah, it's just, uh, I think it's just too underwhelming. You know, you're better off, if you're going for the Malamar route, you're better off using the Cosma, right? That's the theory. Or maybe it's just Morene. That would be interesting. Okay. That would be really interesting. Uh, and this is very scary because our Pukabukus are not going to activate because they're poisoning us to death. <laughs> not using a, an attack, which is super scary. So let's, uh, Kukui here. And we are getting a knockout because of that, which is pretty cool. Uh, but unfortunately, they're going to take out this Pukumuku because of it. Oh, that feels bad. Um, I think we're going to have to start doing rapid triple kick, which feels really awful. Um, I don't know what we're up against here, but I really don't like that spell tag. That's just painful. All right, let's just rapid spin. And we're just going to retreat into the, this. That's fine. Doesn't feel good. Um, one bit. But that's just where we're at. That spell tag is just yikes. Uh, and coming up against a poison deck of all things, when our deck doesn't want things like poison getting in the way, does not feel good at all. I mean, to be fair, we don't have to go into our Pukamukus. We could literally switch between hit one tops, you know? That's something we could just do, um, considering this deck doesn't look like it's going to be hitting huge numbers um, right away. So being able to switch out the poisons and continue to attack would also be pretty cool as well. Um... Not playing against a GX deck makes it a bit rough, but... Okay, so this looks like it's just... Oh, it is Toxapex GX. Now, this feels kind of good. Wait, did the spell tag... <gasps> no, did the spell tag not activate? What? Hmm. Why did the spell tag not activate? I'm actually confused <laughs> I, I am for real confused um that it did not activate because it should have right or is it because it went onto the bench that it is that a glitch i don't know is it a glitch i don't know <laughs> right let's sightsee it here four or five fresh cards pretty good stuff why am i playing sightseer i don't know 
I honestly don't know. Maybe I just wanted to give it a shot. I did build this deck uh, about a week ago. All right, let's go for the rapid spin here. Hit into that for 80 damage. Go to the Pukumuku. And if they take out the Pukumuku, they go down as well. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You're seeing this deck function exactly how it should, um, even though I would not classify this myself as a meta deck. <laughs> not in the slightest. Um, and now forcing them to switch is pretty cool as well. Because, um, well, oh, well, they switched into a survivor. Okay. Um, if it's GX Shrine of Punishment, we'll just take them out on the bench pretty much. We'll stop building damage. And in the late game, we can Guzma up and, you know, work our way around. Sea of Nothingness. Ooh. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Special conditions not removed when they evolve. I like that. I like that a lot, actually, in this deck. Pretty cool. Um, but it just seems like playing GX is redundant. If you're going for just poison, then the poison thing might be just better. Uh, nonetheless, we are here. Let's go for the Sightseer and discard these two. We don't need them anymore. That's fine. So this deck runs ridiculously smoothly because it's just basic. It plays a ton of Bull Surge, Acrobikes, yada, yada. Um, speaking of, we do need a way out of this. Oh, I'm a bit of an idiot. Um, I completely forgot I need to retreat, so I attach to the Boswell this turn. Whoops, that's a, that's a bit of a yikes. Um, oh, well. That's uh, just where we're at. Should have attacked. Uh, sorry, should have attached to the active Pukimuku, retreated, and then into hip on top play. But hey, as I said, this is just where we are at currently. Um, we are weak to psychic, so they only have to hit like one. Sorry, two heads to be able to take us out. Oh, they're going for the Diancy, huh? Oh, they've identified the threat. <laughs> uh, let's take this one out. We're going to Guzma and take that one out for certain. Um, they have to hit all four heads to take out this Diancy, so they're taking a big risk. One. Ha ha! Ha ha! You failed, buddy! Unfortunately, you have failed. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna let Shrine do with this for now. Um, and just go for the Guzma into this Moraini. There we go. Nonetheless, whichever Pokemon they take out before this Buzzwall, we do get the Buzzwall turn, which is pretty good. I like that. Um, to be fair, I'm just gonna start attaching to this Buzzwall anyway. Let's thin a little bit. Let's get rid of these Great Balls. Don't need them at all. And let's just get ourselves a Oranguru. Let's do that. For now, let's just thin. Um, and retreat. I probably want a rapid spin into Epukimuku. Let's do that. I know we don't have to now, but I kind of just want to because they, if we force them to bring something up, at the very least, we're forcing them to bring something they don't want up. Um, and they have to attack into this Pukimuku if they don't have a Guzma, which means they're going to be taking six damage counters, yada yada. I did contemplate playing this deck with a. And they're going to Guzma, probably the Diancy. That's fine. Um, I did con I did really contemplate playing this with Shedinja because our Pukimukus wouldn't be it wouldn't be so risky using Pukimuku, uh, which is something I'm still between doing, but it just made it really clunky in comparison to this version of the deck. Um, hopefully we pull a Guzma here because that would be like really good. Okay, we have chances. Let's see. Okay, so we've got a skateboard, which could really be helpful here, but I think I kind of just want to attack with Buzzwell right now, so. I kind of just want to do that and start using Swing Around for the time being. Just because we can. And like, it's a very low HP deck. So, oh, we got the Guzma. Good stuff. I like that. Okay, let's attack into this Morena here with a good old, good old Sledgehammer. And then the Shrine is going to take the other one down. So, that's good news. We go 120. And we get an extra two prizes there as well. So, that's sweet. So, Shrine has eaten that Pokemon alive, which is always wonderful. Um... Well, it doesn't really sound wonderful, but it's wonderful when you're not the one being eaten alive by Shrine of Punishment, that's for certain. <laughs> um, but obviously, one thing we do always have to bear in mind is this deck we're playing against is not particularly a meta deck. They seem to be dead drawing or something. Um, so I would not use this as the best way to, defer to determine how good this deck that we are playing is. It might be a combination of, uh, of something. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, the the Nile Eager, which allows you to use... I believe any attack on my side of the field if I have two prize cards. Choose one of your opponent's attacks and use it as his attack, which is pretty cool. Oh, wow, they're going for the double. Okay, you think I'm not going to take some prizes, buddy? Ha! Huh? I'm joking. Um, your active Pokemon is like confused and poisoned. Oh, okay. Do you know what? That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good shout. Uh, right, Guzma. Please. All right. Uh, let's just go for the Acrobike and see what we get there. Cynthia is more important, definitely. We're not playing it. A deck like that. Let's ultra-ball away the Shrine and the hit on top. Do we have Guzmas in deck, like, ready to come out? We have one. So, yeah, this is a bit rough. Let's go for a Cynthia here. If 
we get like a, a skateboard and an energy, that would be pretty dope. Which we do. Good stuff. I like that a lot. I like it. Let's just retreat into the the, uh, the buzzwell here. Let's get rid of the choice ban in the shrine again. Let's do that. Considering it doesn't look like they're going for any sort of GX approach this turn. Ah, we'll leave the Pukumuku. And let's go for an Ranguru pool as well, which is nice. Let's see where this leads us to. All right, we've got the Guzman for next turn as well. Sledgehammer, but boy. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, there we go. I think we've I think we've just won here. <laughs> I think we just won. They just not. Their board state is uh, very, very rough. Let's give them a little heart there. I mean, you've got to give it to them. They are trying to play the game through. At this point, I would quit. So they are playing it through, and I appreciate that a lot, you know. So um, hats off to the, to uh, to Zack Zombie is his name. Hats off to him. Right, so he's going to go for the Confusion plus Poison. And we got the Guzma for game, pretty much. Because we can just uh, Guzma, retreat, the Hitmon top, and then bang. So Buzzball really carrying through there in the uh, after we take those few prizes with the Hitmon tops. And uh, we lose uh, some Pukumukus. But, um, yeah. Maybe this is primarily a Nihiligo deck. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. That would be really good. That would be really fun to play with Shrine, actually, that idea. I kind of like the Nihiligo idea. But anyway, let's go and finish off this game. And uh, then we'll get into another one, of course. That was a very, very quick game. Um, and hopefully we can pull off another crazy win. That was, uh, that was really fun to play. Um... And just like, it's just go, go, go. That's just exactly how this deck works. And those are my favorite types of decks. My favorite decks are the ones that can do chip damage, but they're really rapid. And they set up quickly. They stream attacks really quickly. And they build up damage over time, which is kind of punishment. Uh, those decks tend to be really successful when I play them for myself. I feel like it's just my play style. Right? Um, I think there was a deck that I made. Um, and I think I made a video on it. It's the Boswell Weavile deck. I don't know if I did make a video on it or not. I think I did. And it was ridiculously uh, successful and one of my favorite decks at the time because like, I won tournaments and everything with it um, consistently on PTCGO. Uh, not in real life because I don't compete in real life, obviously. Um, just because I knew like, how to play the deck. And I think it's just this is just my style of play. It's these basic attackers that are very quick and very easy to get out. So speaking of, here we are, Hitman Top, and we need an energy... And then we need to just find ourselves a... Let's get rid of these a Sightseer and an Ultra Ball. And get ourselves an Oranguru. Oh, no, Diancy. Let's get Diancy. We need to damage output. So hopefully we just find ourselves an Escape Board here. But, I mean, we're turn one attacking, aren't we? So we don't really need to find the Escape Board just yet. And Pukumuku and another hit on top. And then pass. And we got Guzma as well, so that's good news. Um, so, yeah, instantly set up. Nice and easy. They KO this Pukumuku. They take some damage. And we're just going to be, uh, again, rolling through here. Now, you could play this with a different card. You don't have to play Pukumuku. In my opinion, Pukumuku is a really risky one. But unfortunately, we lost the Wobbuffet in rotation, uh, which blocks abilities when it's active. So we can't play that. Um, there's no real. There's, there's some other Pokemon we can play in the active that have some effect. But they're not necessarily that big of a deal. I mean, you could play Slacking. But then Slacking is really hard to get out of the way. It's a Sage 2. So it's quite rough to work with. You could play the likes of a um, Glaceon GX, but that's also quite rough getting out. And it also requires a water energy in this deck, which means you have to play different types of energy, which makes it a bit clunky. Um, what else am I thinking of? I believe there's a Suicune that like, can force you, if it's in the active, allow you to switch your opponent's Pokemon, but then that's kind of redundant. If you want an active Pokemon to sit in the active in a hit and run deck, you want it to cause problems for your opponents. So... Um, there's nothing of the sorts right now in our current format, if I'm correct, that can cause such a detriment other than that of Pukumuku, because it just really makes your, oh, your opponent very reluctant to attack, um, because they're scared of taking six damage counters by KOing it, especially when you have Shrine and stuff coming into play, it's a very scary thing to KO, so, um, sometimes your opponent won't, sometimes they'll look at it and go, nope, not doing it, not hitting it, <laughs> Wow, so they were probably a Malamar deck that just didn't find an Inke. <laughs> and that's probably why they quit there. Uh, let's get into another game and see if we can uh, pull off another win. Three wins. Uh, sorry, three wins in a row. Two wins in a row there. Um, which is pretty nice. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Speaking, someone mentioned in one of my comments on the ladder, it's a bit weird how they've thrown in these weird black and white packs. I know there's some black and white packs that are good. Like, there's one that can give you an Ultra Ball Secret Rare, which is cool. But I think the only secret rare you can get in this is a Pokemon catcher, which is not really ideal. Um, and I don't think there's any crazy cards. I know there's Darkrai EX, which is great for expanded. 
But you got to give give it to Pokemon to uh, you know rotate in their versus ladders from standard to expanded. Um, and it seems like they've really got something going, you know, because Primal Groudon is still a good card to see in play, although it requires a lot of stuff that is expensive um, and hard to work with. Let's just... We're going first. Let's not bring out the Hypnotop. Um, yeah, although it's expensive and stuff like that, <laughs> at least they, they're giving you a viable card or a potentially viable card. Like, uh, what did they give away in the last ladder? Was it Ho-Oh? Was it Ho-Oh? Um, and then before that, they gave, like, something else that was quite viable. They're giving away viable cards, which is nice. Or cards that are somewhat playable. Um, at the very least. Right, let's get Diancy out into play. Let's get the Shrine. Uh, shrine? No, we're not Shrining here. We're not using Shrine. Because we're playing against... <laughs> oh, no, we're playing Blissey. Ha! Oh, I know this deck all too well. Um, I'd love to actually tackle it myself. I think it's a really cool, like, cool deck. Uh, let's Orangu first and then Sightseer. Maybe we pull a Lily, Lily or something. Do we play Lily? I don't know. I think I want a Sightseer and just hold on to these two cards. Yeah. I don't mind Sightseering here for three. That's okay. This deck just runs so smooth. I am absolutely loving it. Another hit on top. We can throw that on the bench. Um, next time we can go for a Kukui if we want. I mean, them being weak to fighting is um, really good. Uh, because right now we're hitting 50, which means one hit KOing the Chansey. I think the Blissey, though, is 160. So we need to hit 80. And I don't think that's happening with a Kukui. So... Considering they can't evolve this turn, we don't even need Kukui, actually. We could just play a Cynthia um, and just KO this Chansey early on, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Just to be safe, I'm going to attach to the Pukumuku. I do not want to risk not getting an escape board here. And if we do, that's fine. We'll just attach it for later on. Exactly, we didn't. So, um, although, we, I'm sure we could fish our way into it. Uh, I'm pretty much committing to my attack now. Um, I'm going to drop another Pukumuku, or is that necessary? Don't really think so. I think we just hold our hand right now. We don't need a choice ban. The act we doesn't Pokemon we need to bench. So I think we're just gonna rapid spin here for KO. Absolutely wonderful. And drop the Pukimiku into the active, so that's good. There we go. Um Maybe I should have thrown the other Hitmontop into the active. Not too sure, because we still haven't got any escape boards here, so. Maybe you should play four of a skateboard in this deck. Not too sure. Not too sure. All right, another quit. <laughs> oh my god, this is just like the other video the other day. It was just so many victories. Was it the Raikou one where it's just like they it's just constant quits? Um, it's fun in some ways because obviously you get to climb the ladder real quickly and get some nice coinage and stuff. But in other ways, you just want to have fun and play a full game, a really competitive game. That's where the game gets really entertaining. Um, so people quitting all the time is not always fun. But, you know, I can't really talk. I'm, I'm the type of person to do the same if my deck malfunctions. I'll just be like, all right, scoop. Fix it, go. So, can't be a hypocrite, so I won't say anything other than that. Uh, what are we up against here? I'm trying to look at... I really should pay attention, shouldn't I? You know? I really should pay attention to what I'm up against uh, as we go into the game. Because that's kind of crucial as to what I bench. All right, we actually are attacking first, which is okay. We're going second, but attacking first, that's all right. Because it doesn't take much for us to attack. We don't need to evolve. Um, so, that's pretty cool. Uh, and we have the Guzma. Persimian. Oh, Eesh. That's scary. And I go for the fan club. All right, so yeah. So Persimian sets up really well on top, which is kind of scary. So I don't think this is the Persimian that most people play. I think people play the Persimian that plays two of the evolution damage ones. I think it does 30 more damage to evolution Pokemon or something like that. Um, right, we're just going to switch. going to go crazy here. And we're going to bench a All right, Guru. And we're going to bench a Diancie. And just start hitting, to the, hitting into these Persimians uh, for the time being. Um, oh no, I benched two Rangurus. Yay. Whoopsie. That was, a, that was an oopsie. Whoopsie, oopsie. Okay. Um, going a bit too fast here. Slow down, buddy. Slow down. Hopefully we pull a Diancy out of this. I think we can. <laughs> ah, never fail. Never fail. That was all intentional. That was all meant to happen. Completely. <laughs> um, oh. Quite a bad hand, though. All right, let's rapid spin into a good old Pukimuku. Force them to switch. And then we'll just start going around here and do damage. As per So this kind of is like a spread damage deck as well because you're forcing them to switch their Pokemon, which means they're going to have a ton of Pokemon on the bench that's damaged. So in the late game, you can come and sweep up. Maybe you could play this with a Coco. That would be interesting to see. That would be quite interesting. Ooh, Hala, huh? 
Why would you play Hala? Unless they... Oh, that's kind of scary. I don't like that. Not scary, sorry. It's kind of... What? Weak? Is that what I'm trying to say? Don't play Hala unless you're guaranteed to have a turn 1 GX attack. Other than that, I would say never play Hala. Because it's super risky and you never want to do it. Alright, so they're going to fling into this. Uh, which means they are not getting what they want. Alright, skateboard. Good stuff. Which means I didn't really need to attach the energy, but that's where we are. Let's get rid of a Sightseer and an energy, speaking of. And get ourselves a... Another hit on top. And then after that, we can try and get Buzzwall out. So once these hit on tops go down, which they usually do, um, we are good to go. Alright, let's do that. And go for the Instruct here. Hopefully we get some extra bits and bobs. That's fine. Alright, rapid spin and hit into... Oh, sorry, then fall, sorry, into our Yukimuku. So that's good. So forcing the opponent to switch is also pretty fun. Sometimes you don't want that, though. Sometimes you really want to build up the damage on the active. But forcing them to switch is alright, I think. Alright, so they're going to go for another fling here. What deck is this? What is going on? What is going on? You just... Okay, this has to be some... It's got to be a new person, right? Because they've they've thrown a sky pillar down and then went to attach my bench, which I'm protected from. So, is my elo low or... Because I've won a few games, right? Theoretically speaking, I should be up against someone on a similar level, right? A similar streak? I'm not too sure. Unless they just played, played and attacked and didn't think about it. I'm not too sure. Right, full win streak. Um, we are going to go for another one because we've had just pretty much what you get all the time in PTCGO. Just games where you don't really fulfill the game. It's just play, quit, play, quit, play, quit. It's unfortunate, but hey, that's the game we're in, right? That is the game we're in. So let's go for another one. <laughs> we're, just, we're not even on that. Like, this deck isn't meant to be like crazy good either. It's just a fun deck. I just want to have a, a, a full-on game where we either get annihilated or we annihilate. You know? <laughs> one or the other. One or the other. Um, nonetheless, though, I think this is an interesting concept. And I think, what is the next hit and run Pokemon? Is it a... Is it also a Hitmon Pokemon? Is it a Hitmon Lee? Or is it... Am I thinking of, I'm thinking of something else? I know there is a Pokemon coming out that has a pretty good hit and run attack. And I think it requires a DCE, though. Right. Enough yapping on. Let's get set up. Oh, Zorak. Yeah. This is juicy. This is what I want to see. Uh, I'm an Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball Acro Bike. Get Puky Muky out, I think. I don't know what Zorak deck this is, though, so... Getting Pukimuku could be quite risky, because if we're playing Zorak um, Decidueye... Eh, yikes. Um, do I drop the Shrine now? I don't want to, because they're not going to bring out any GX Pokemon. Or oh, they could bring out a Lele, so let's do that. Let's drop the Shrine. They could drop a Lele to get an Elm's Lecture. So, that's it. Okay, hold my hand. We've got a Guzma, so we can get something out next turn. And uh, start hitting into things with our hit on top. Oh, that's a shame. I thought they were at least going to grab a Lele and then do the arm lecture, but apparently not. Oh, yeah. Get the Ditto, please. I want to take that out right away. Straight in with the Ditto. Take an early prize and put some pressure so they don't get to evolve into whatever they want to evolve into. Um, let's see what's going on there. Let's see what Zorak variant deck this is. This might be a Zorak Weavile. It might be like a Zorak Toolbox deck where they just play a ton of text, which is also... Oh, they're getting the Lele. Oh, all right. Now they're getting the Lele. Which is kind of strange. Maybe that was the only thing they saw in the Ultra Ball, but hey. Actually, no, we're not taking a Ditto. You have completely irresponsibly attached there, and we're going to punish you for that, buddy. That's exactly what's going to happen. Let's drop you and uh, go for the Guzma and just smack into that thing. That's exactly what we're doing. We're going to take you out. You're weak to fighting. Nice and easy. 100 damage. Good stuff. Good stuff. Rapid spin. Sweet. There we go. And let's go and uh, do that. So, hey, this deck definitely punishes Zorak in the early game. Oh, my God, I never quit. Oh, oh, oh. oh, as soon as we start having fun. This is such a shame. This is such a shame. Right, five win streak. We're going for another one. Oh, God, this is like bittersweet. This is the most bittersweet I've felt in a long time. <laughs> in my head, I'm like, what do I do? How do I react? Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? I don't know. Oh, oh man, PTCGO, you always got something, haven't you? You've always got something. You've always got something going on. So please, join me up against someone that does not insta-quit. Hey, Rocket, please, please, let's have a fun game, eh? 
I'll play through to the end, even if I'm going to lose. I will play through, buddy. Can you do it for me? Hey, I won. Nice. I go first. Good stuff. Although, it's going first really good in this deck, or is going second good? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I guess we're going to play this a bit different, uh, considering we started the buzzword. We might have to start trying to attach the swing around. We could start poking with Sledgehammer. I guess we could do that. Oh, no, it's a man of our deck. Yes. Okay, let's go for the acro bike and see what we pull off that. Uh, Pukimuku, the acro bike. Pukimuku. I mean, we're not really in requirement of anything right now, so that's fine. And uh, then we'll play the Great Ball and see what we get there. Hit one top. Good stuff. Uh, I will drop the Shrine in case we're playing like a Malamar GX deck. Oh, no. Uh, in case we're playing a Malamar GX deck. Um, in which Shrine would be useful. A Ranguru, give me some luck. Give me a Lily. That would be cool. Nope, that's fine, but a choice band is also pretty darn good. So let's do that. Let's go with the Cynthia. We could knock out this Inke next turn if they don't get it out of the active. If we drop a Diancy and get a... Uh, which we do have, good. And get a Kukui. Um, if we manage to grab those two things, that would be very, very good. All right, let's hold it here. We've got so many playable cards, um, but we need to take it slow. Bear in mind, highly doubt it, but they could have their own Garbodor in here, which, again, highly doubt. Garbodor's rarely ever played in Malamar, but... You never know, it's Psychic, so Garbodor could be lurking around, so I want to be careful with the items. He says with four items already in the Discop. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so stupid sometimes. I am, I am, I am definitely stupid. Okay, let's see what we're up against here. Okay, it's a GX variant, good, and they're playing Max Potion. Okay, so this has got to be Necrozma, or Ultra Necrozma. I'm assuming Necrozma. So, let's think. Happy it's a GX deck. Oh, Mysterious Treasure. Is it Ultra Necrozma then? Although they can still Mysterious Treasure for Psychic, can't they? So. Oh, it is Ultra. Hey! Hey, it's kind of nice seeing something a little different every now and then. I remember when Ultra Necrozma was like the hyped card going, Oh my god, this card is crazy. Like, ah! And then people were like, Well, I just playing Necrozma. And it's like, Oh my god, yeah, yeah, it's probably better. Probably better doing Necrozma. <laughs> um, I think the people, the thing, uh, the issue people had with this was the. Uh, uh, requirement for the steel uh, the steel energy but hey okay so shrine down that's fine i guess we did ask for that field blower by just throwing them out turn one but that's just where we're at it's just where we're at okay so i'm trying to think of my strategy right now um hmm i'm just thinking do we keep attaching to this buzz wall I don't know. I don't know. Let's acro bike see what we pull. We pull another acro bike. Unfortunately, we're losing another choice band, but we need a Guzma. Or at least a Kukui. We want to take this NK out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's, that's, uh, that's absolutely perfect. That is exactly what I was hunting for, and we have just fallen straight into it. So let's do that. Uh, I guess we bench the mute Puki Muku. Let's Kukui. And uh, take out this NK. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um,. Considering that Ultra Necrozma is not Psychic type, we ha they have to try a bit harder to KO us, um, which is good. And if they promote another in or something, we can just take it out by going for the swing arounds. So you see why I've thrown Buzzwall in this deck, because it is just the one hard hitter that if we need, we can use. So that's also pretty cool. And we got Shrine of Punishment, so that's cool. That's pretty dope as well. Good stuff. Did I get Shrine of Punishment off the prize? Or did I get off the Kukui? If not, I really should have played it beforehand. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention to my hand. Um, but something tells me I got off the prize cards. Because I think I would have known. Maybe not. I'm not going to speak too soon. Because <laughs> uh, I could just be... Oh, wow. They've got all, they were all the fancy cards. Look at this. they got all the fancy stuff. Huh? All the fancy stuff. Okay. So get them Malamar down. No energy. They just got part to work with anyway. Um... Looks like they're dead drawing, at the very least. Ha! I always speak too soon, don't I? <laughs> hey, looks like they're dead drawing. Cynthia. <laughs> Alright, sorry. I'll shut up next time. Ah, yikes. Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to drop the Ultra Space one. I, mean, I guess that's a good way to search for Ultra Necrozmas, right? Mysterious Treasure, Ultra Space. They seem, they seem like they've got enough search going on. Um, but we're going to just counter that with Shrine. And I guess they search for their Dawn Wings as well. Hey, 
to be fair. Now, is Necrozma and Ultra Beast in the VGC? Is it a video game? Why do I call it the VGC? That's the video game championship, isn't it? So the video game. I want to know because it's not one in the trading card game. Which is a shame because you can't search it up. Vulture Space, speaking of, is there anything we can use it for? No, because we've got our only Ultra Beast here. Sean, what are you talking about? All right, let's go for the swing around attack and let's just chuck all of this away. Yeah, let's just run that away. That's fine. Um, let's see what we get. Oh, choice ban. Always and spicy. Uh, swing around would do... 80 plus. So, we, I don't think we're getting a KO on this. We're doing 100 damage, 130. And then the two on top says so 150, 170. So, like, regardless, we're not getting a KO. So, I don't think I'm going to throw a choice ban on this. Uh, we could really use that on the hitmon top. So, I think we're just going to go for the swing around here. Uh, raw, so that's fine with me. There we go. So nice 120 damage after swing around plus the shrine. There we go. So, oh, no, could we? No, oh, we might have. No, I don't think so. We didn't hit the double heads anyway, so that's okay. That's all right. Um, so hopefully, shrine does a lot of the work here with this hit on top. We are losing the buzzwell early, um, and I don't think we play any rescue stretch. So, ooh, I've gone and discarded two hit on top. Without playing any rescue stretcher. Ha. Huh. I might have put myself in a bit of a predicament if I'm going to be honest with ya. Huh. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, they're going to max potion the active dawn wings. That's what? Am I going to take out the dancey? Yeah, that's fair. That's like, that's the smart play. Let's, let's be real. But uh, I think we're going to follow up with the Hitmon top and drop into the Pukumuku. We want to keep this Buzzwell going for as long as we can. So we're just not going to throw it into the active after this turn. Wow, they play a ton of Field Blower, don't they? Um, I said <laughs> a ton of Field Blower too. <laughs> That's a ton of Field Blower, Sean, isn't it? Yes. Uh, okay, let's hit on top. We will get the KO with that instead. We're going to be hitting them for 60 damage, which is just enough. So that's good with me. Uh, and let's great ball and see what we pull off that. If we pull nothing, that's fine. Oh, another hit on top. Yay. Let's do that. And uh, we're just going to hit into it and just get the nice KO and throw ourselves into the Puku Muku. There we go. So that's fine, boy, me. If they take out this Puku Muku, they're just inviting more damage and definitely encouraging the... Uh, one hit KO range on the Buzzwell and the later KO ranges on these hit on top, so that's good. But they've really, like, fair play to them. They've really tackled the shrines, which uh, some decks really do struggle to do. So um, fair play to them there. Uh, we do have an energy, so we don't have to get the escape board to retreat, which is what I like. We don't have to have a skateboard to do it. Um, so we can just manually attach an energy and go for the retreat. So I'm fine with that. Uh, losing the Diancy is quite unfortunate. Because that could be really helpful in uh, hitting big numbers later on. But hey, that's just where we're at, right? But if they do take out this Pukumuku, they are inviting something scary. Although, they can go for their Moon's Eclipse GX. Which is not good. Hey, quick question. Does Moon's Eclipse GX prevent the damage from in its out? I don't think so. If you can only... Blah, 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 during your opponent's next turn. So considering in its out... Is activated during transition similar to shrine i think that's the way it works then it should still do the damage if i'm correct or is it prevent any attacks or prevent all of the text of attacks okay so this is an ability not an attack so it will do the damage figured you out oh they didn't even do the gx attack oh no that's risky buddy what are you doing what are you doing you're a nut job okay um we could ko them but I'm going to be safe and <laughs> promote the Pukumuku just in case. So uh, let's, let's, be, let's be safe. Let's be safe. Okay, let's drop a Nest Ball. And uh, I don't think we're getting a choice band anymore, are we? We've really pretty much used them all up. <laughs> all right, throw this down. Let's do that and go for the Cynthia. So let's think. Are we hitting the numbers? I don't think we are. Oh, we do play Rescue Stretch. Oh, thank you, Past Sean. I really appreciate your efforts. Okay, let's throw, <laughs> let's throw these back in the deck. Ah. Uh, Oh, wait! It's my Sledgehammer turn! I can hit 120, but that's not enough! Oh, no. There is resistance to fighting. That's not good. I don't like it. Uh, do we hit on top this turn and just go back into the Pukumuku? Hmm. We have Kukui in our hand. That would really help this turn. Oh, my God, that would have helped. 
Okay. But it's our sledgehammer turn, but we can't do anything with it. Shrine would be so good. We're going to hunt for the shrine. We're going to ultra pull away this and hunt for shrine. <clears throat> shrine. Oh, we don't have any. Oh my god, we've priced two shrines. That's just so bad. Okay, uh, I guess not. I guess we're just going <laughs> to... Now we know. The shrine would have done it. The shrine would have really done it. Okay, let's just retreat and go for the hit on top. I kind of just want to do that and just at least, you know, figure something out. Let's go down here. And if they take out the Pikamuku, then they are just asking for it. At least we force them to switch. But then, 